Well, good evening and welcome to Daily Devotions. I'm Deacon Mindy Bugai, and I'm so glad that you're joining me this evening. We hope that you are making use of all of the resources, Bible studies, fellowship opportunities that we have on our website, which is godamong.us. Please go there, join in as much as possible, um, especially now that we still aren't quite able to join together in person. Sunday morning at 10 a.m., we do have worship online, and you can find the link there for Sunday morning worship on our website. Please do plan to join us. We'd love to have you. You know how it is when you meet others, maybe somebody who doesn't quite know you or or where you're from or, or what your family is like. And um, I think about the times when I've been in a situation where someone says, um, so tell me about yourself, right? And we might include things that... Um, that identify us, our jobs, um, our families, um, where we attended school, all the numerous roles that we have in our lives. Maybe you're a parent or a sibling or a teacher, or an accountant, a friend. Um, those are ways that we usually identify ourselves. Now, when I'm introduced to someone, I don't just say, oh, I'm Carlos's wife. Um, and expect people to really know me. There's more to me than that one role in my life. So I might say, I'm a mom, I'm a deacon, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. And that helps to define who I am. The roles we have in life are all components that come together to combine who we are. We may know who we are, but then what does it take for others to know who we are. We know who Jesus is. We have the benefit of scripture to tell us that. But for the people Jesus met and taught, who he was continued to elude and confuse them. This passage from Matthew that I'm going to read shows us how the people tried to understand and know who Jesus was. I'll be reading Matthew 16 verses 13 through 18, and I'm using the message paraphrase. When Jesus arrived in the villages of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, What are people saying about who the Son of Man is? They replied, Some think he is John the Baptizer, some say Elijah, some Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. He pressed them, And how about you? Who do you say I am? Simon Peter said, you're the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus came back. God bless you, Simon, son of Jonah. You didn't get that answer out of books or from teachers. My Father in heaven, God himself, let you in on the secret of who I really am. And now I'm going to tell you who you are, really are. You are Peter, a rock. This is the rock on which I will put together my church, a church so expansive with energy that not even the gates of hell will be able to keep it out. People had ideas about who Jesus was. They had their impressions based on their experiences or their the experiences of others whom they knew. But impressions aren't really knowing. So when Jesus asks who others say he is, the disciples share the impressions of others that they had heard, Elijah, John the Baptizer, Jeremiah, or other prophets. Those impressions limited who Jesus was to what the people already knew of John and the prophets. It was probably easier to see Jesus as someone whose identity they already understood. But Peter had the answer that set Jesus apart. You are the Christ, the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus tells Peter who he is, the recipient of God's secret and the foundational leader of the new church. Now, Peter, I can imagine, was surprised to know this about himself. But Jesus knew Peter 
loved Peter, and called Peter. Jesus doesn't come face to face with us to tell us who we are. But we, like Peter, have a calling to spread the good news too. Jesus knows us, flaws and all, just as he did Peter. And Jesus loves us, just as he did Peter. Knowing who Jesus is, the Savior of all, identifies us as loved disciples. We too are to share in the expansive energy of the church, as the passage described it. Spread the love and grace of Christ. Trust in the resurrection that left the tomb of sins behind for new life for all of us in Christ Jesus. Let's pray together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, I do hope you'll join us for worship in the morning at 10 a.m. The website again is godamong.us. And um, I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your evening. Good night. God bless. <laughs>